Hi there. My name is Jeff Rona. I'm a composer here in Los Angeles. And in addition to the work that I do for film and TV and video games, uh, I started a small company called Why Blue Sound. And we put out a couple of, I think, really amazing uh, software plugins, uh, synthesizers. And I want to show you a little bit about using them today. Uh, sort of in the context of doing a short cue, something a little dramatic, a little tense, using nothing but the two instruments that we put out, Orbit and Eclipse. And then I'll show you a little bit how they work under the hood, and you get a better sense of, of uh, what they're capable of doing. So on the screen here, I have my sequence. Uh, there are... A handful of Orbit, a handful of Eclipse, and a little kick drum at the bottom, which we'll see how important that is. So let me just play a bit of the piece, and then we'll open it up. kind of just building a little bit of mystery. Now it gets a little more pace to it. And now we're into the main body of it. A little melodic element that comes in down at the bottom, Eclipse 6. elements will fade out uh, and we're left with just a little bit of aftermath, just a little bit of ambient color. So let me open up a couple of these pieces and let's take a quick look. Uh, so actually this is the first sound we hear is a combination of this orbit and this eclipse. So why don't we start uh, there so I have it uh, so that the mod wheel sort of fades it in and out through the filter. And let's take a look. These are contact-based instruments. And um, this is the main screen of Orbit. Uh, once you know one, you know them both really, really well. Uh, Orbit and Eclipse both allow you to take four sounds and it creates this sort of swirling round robin effect of moving between them in a few different ways. Right now, it's all based on crossfades. So you have four timbres, and these are actually not just short little samples or wavetables. Instead, each of those four sounds is itself a long, evolving, although in a subtle way, uh, sound. Some of them quite simple, some of them quite complicated. There's a, a few there in different categories, and um, about a hundred or so. Then there's an effects page uh, with some distortion, some modulation, convolution, and a filter, and four sequencers that can be used to manipulate any of the main uh, parameters. There's also the ability to generate your own random uh, patches and then save them, and it's a very intelligent form of randomization that focuses in on those elements that will give you the best chance of something you really like. So, the opening of the queue blends this with this in Eclipse. And as you see, it looks quite similar. Uh, it's a completely different sound set in terms of the four elements that you can use to make that make up a sound. Uh, 
And uh, this one, the sounds are a little more discreet. If I turn these up, you can see that you can actually uh, split them up a bit. Um, that's just in the pulse mode, chop mode. So I think you get the idea. Let me take you through some of the other sounds that we use. There's not that many. Um, a little whoosh with a little kind of a melodic little uh, spike in it. The sequencers can be used melodically or timbrely. And here's a good example of a patch that is in fact playing a little melody through the uh, sequencer. You can do melodies here, but you can even retune any of these four sonic elements and create uh, melodic patterns from this page just as well. And when you're doing rhythmic uh, sounds with Orbit or Eclipse, there's an input quantize so that it can never get off the beat if that's what you want. A couple other quick things. Kind of a nice evil bass. By the way, in this demo, uh, no EQ, no reverb, no effects of any kind. All you're hearing is Orbit and Eclipse, nothing else. So one of the great things about these instruments is that they really play with color in unusual ways because you're combining these four colors. Um, you get to really have some unusual control that you have over something that I love, which is very evolving, uh, subtle changes in color over time. And this one is functioning more as a rhythm uh, percussion instrument. But it's all based on the same engine. Uh, couldn't be simpler, really. Not even really using the sequence in this one. The little melody. Very simple. Uh, nice lead sound. So the great thing with Orbit and Eclipse is they're great for bass lines, percussion lines, uh, chordal lines, lead lines, all of that. Eclipse was designed to be much more um, dark, hence the name Eclipse. Um, just a sound set that, that can take you into more dramatic, uh, stranger territory where Orbit uh, is great for mystery and wonder and a slightly simpler approach. Um, so there you basically have it. I think there was one other little Orbit sound that comes in at the very end. And that's just holding down one key and it's doing this cool shift in, in color. And that's really it. Very, very simple. So that is writing a cue top to bottom using nothing but Orbit and Eclipse. Uh, you can check us out at widebluesound.com. Uh, follow us on social media at Wide Blue Sound. And I hope this was kind of a helpful way of seeing how a very simple set of tools uh, can be very, very creative and really zone in on what you can do in scoring. Take care.